Welcome back to Mario Guys Barbecue. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're doing up some super simple chimichurri steak bites on the El Chao Rotisserie. I'm going to show you how to make a homemade chimichurri sauce that we're going to marinate some steak tips in before we hit them up on skewers and fire them on the El Chao. And I'm also going to show you how to make a smoky tomato pepper salsa to dip our steak tips in when we're done. Super simple, super tasty. You ready to do this? Let's go! All right, let's get our chimichurri together. I got a handful of flat leaf parsley here. Remove the big stems. A little pile of uh, cilantro. You know, like cilantro, leave it out, add a little bit more uh, flat leaf parsley. Four cloves of garlic. One shallot. And one Thai chili, de-seeded. Let me get it into our chopper here. Get it all in there. I got a teaspoon of dry oregano and a teaspoon of coarse sea salt. I'm gonna go with about three tablespoons of a red wine vinegar. Some fresh cracked pepper. Get this lid on here. And we'll give it a whirl. All right, we'll give it a little check here. Looking pretty good. You don't want it to be like a really that fine. You know, a little texture to it. Now add some extra virgin olive oil. Coming back maybe about a half a cup, half a cup or so. You can actually take this blade out. Give it a little mix. Add the oil to your consistency. So we're looking like that. I'm gonna add just a little bit more olive oil. That's looking good. I'm gonna come back with also a little bit of crushed red pepper. All right, we got our sirloin tips that I cut in chunks. You can use a bacanya for this if you want. You can use ribeye. This is what I picked up this right here. Works pretty good on the skewers. We're gonna get our chimichurri going. I did reserve about a third of a cup here for finishing later when we're done. Just gonna give that a quick mix. We'll get this covered up, toss it in the fridge for a couple hours, and let it soak up all that goodness. Alright, we got our steak all marinated up. It's been a couple hours. Get it up on our skewer from the El Charo. Poke it up. Get her on. It's like that there. I'll get those finished up. I got a few chunks of onion here that we got on the skewer. I'm gonna hit this up with a little bit of olive oil and some salt. Get that up on the El Charo. And we also got up some Portuguese linguiça. It's a garlic type sausage. See right in there? This stuff right here is rocking. We'll get that up on the El Charo too. All right, let's get this show on the road. We're gonna first hit it up with our onions. We're gonna start these up earlier. Probably take a little bit of time to cook. I also decided to throw a couple of little sweet peppers up on the skewer. We'll get these going here. And we'll take our linguiça up a deck. We'll let these spin, we'll keep an eye on them. 
Once they start cooking up a little, we'll start moving them around. We'll toss them up top. We we'll back, we'll throw our chimichurri steak down the bottom and get this cook rocking. All right, let's toss together a quick smoky tomato pepper salsa. I got a small handful of cilantro, a half of a Vidali onion, a small one, one clove of garlic. I got like 16 cherry tomatoes there. And I got a couple of uh, small mini red peppers like this here. Sweet ones. And you get these up into a chopper here. Now to this, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. One and a half tablespoons red wine vinegar. I'm also gonna add about one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika. little pinch of sugar, small little pinch of salt, a couple of teaspoons of tomato paste, we'll toss the lid on it here and give it a blend. Give it a quick taste. Perfect. It's gonna go great with our steak. I'm gonna toss that up in the fridge, let it chill. These onions here are pretty much done. I'm gonna pull them, let them rest up a little bit. We'll get our steak rolling up on the bottom here. I did move the peppers up top here. I'm gonna pull those off too. We'll get this steak rocking and rolling. Shift it around with the sausage. We'll pull that down there, get that firing up. All right, we got our chimichurri steak bites here. Pretty much done. A linguiça dripping away. I'm gonna get this pulled off, plate it up, and I'll bring it back. Alright, we're plated up. We got our chimichurri steak bites there. We got our chimichurri sauce right there. We got our smoky tomato pepper salsa. We got our linguiça taken up the back there. We got some peppers, some onions there. Let's dive on in and take a bite. Let's get a little cut off of here. Looking pretty good. Get a little extra dunk and our chimichurri. That right there is awesome. Those flavors are popping. That chimichurri sauce, if you've never made it before, very simple, very tasty. With that Thai chili there, you get that little pick of that pepper in there. Damn. You get another little slice here. We'll take it down with uh, tomato pepper. Man, look at that. That right there is a winner. That is popping. You can get that tomato, you get some of that pepper, you get some garlic in there. You get that little tang from that red wine vinegar. Damn. You get a little slice off this uh, linguiça here. Let's bring them on down. It 
and we'll just make it rain. And there's our linguiça. If you can find that linguiça, you gotta give it a shot. You can see this is a real simple cook. Use the chimichurri as you marinate. Top it off again with the chimichurri when you're finished. Rock it out on the El Charo. If you're interested in El Charo, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Put in BTG BBQ at checkout at the outdoor store. You'll get 5% off anything El Charo. Real simple, awesome cooker. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.